welcome back to our channel. It is little old me again today, the Sarah Chronicles continues. I hope you're all doing really well guys. It is on the, what, 12th week now. I'm hoping, I'm praying that we are coming to the tail end. We've done all the hard work already. It's just that we've got to abide by the rules. It's really good that we can get the six people uh, in your garden or in a public place in a park or whatever we've got space for. And the weather's turned. <laughs> It is just sod's law. I managed to have my father around during the week and that was really nice because I haven't actually seen him since February. He came and he sat in our garden and we just caught up for about four hours. It was lovely. So if you have got the space to do it, I really do advise for your own mental health to just try and see someone if safe to do so. So as long as you have no more than six people and you are two meters apart, which can be really hard for people with little gardens that go to a park, I found this week that it really helped to see my dad. I was planning to see other people at the weekend, but the weather's turned and I'm not gonna stand in a garden in the boring rain. You can tell the weather's turned because I've got my big winter jumper on and I look like Tigger. I must have dressed the hair. I did have pink hair and I thought, oh, I'll put my purple shampoo in to try and get the pink out and it's turned it purple. And I must admit, I love it. I do need to sort these roots out. The gray life that is coming through here is real but I am going to sort that out and that will be another video. Today's video is a home bargains haul. Now, we're very lucky that we live in town and home bargains is literally a two minute walk up the road. So I went over there yesterday because at the moment with all my toiletries and my cleaning stuff, I've just been getting from Tesco's in our weekly shop because we haven't been bouncing around different shops. We do our one shop a week, but I'm finding it very expensive. We usually sh shop at Aldi, but I'm not fully comfortable with shopping at Aldi at the moment. The aisles aren't big enough. You're just on top of each other. So personally, I'm not shopping at Aldi we are shopping at Tesco's but it is a lot more expensive so we are trying to bring the bills down a little bit I'm still on furlough and um, Adam is still working full-time in the dining room but we need to bring the bills down a bit and I'm running out of cleaning stuff and I'm running out a lot of toiletry items as well so I've got mind the Asda bags because it's Asda two big bags full now all of this and I'll um I'll tell you the prices as I go through them as well. It all came to £43 and I won't have to keep topping up every week at Tesco's and putting more and more money onto our shopping bill. We're going to try this out, see if we can go home bargains where I can walk up and do it myself and then we'll do our weekly shop as well. So we'll try and incorporate another shop into our weekly routine of getting items into our house. So that fair ready, let's get into it. Right, I'm not going to do it in any particular order because there are categories of what I've bought. I'm just going to pull it out. It's like Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> Christmas again. And I do apologise if you can hear a ticking from my little lucky cat. Um, he's solar powered so I can't turn him off. But he's just waving hello to you. Yes, I've officially gone crazy. <laughs> I'll do the one item that was a bit of like an impulse buy. I saw him and I could not resist him. And this is him here this little guy <laughs> he's a little metal cow that jiggles about and he goes in your garden now we're doing up our garden at the moment i say doing up it's me pottering about we've got some little potted plants out there and i've painted our extension wall which is uh where our patio is i've done it all nautical white and blue we will show you once it's finished um i'm just doing it little and often at the moment because it is just me doing it so i thought he would go so cute in our garden and if you know me I am obsessed with cows. I've got cows everywhere in my kitchen. So he was two ninety nine, and he's handmade. And I thought he was just so cute. And he's just like, hello, welcome to our garden. Yes, I have gone crazy. I'll just do the miscellaneous kind of items at the moment because I have got like cleaning, toiletry kind of items and then I've just got some random shit in here as well because you have to when you go to home bargains, anywhere like that, like home bargains, B&M, HomeSense, any, any place you go there, you go there for like one item, you come out with bags. We needed 
<laughs> well, not that we need any more boards. People that know me again know that I have a bit of an obsession with collecting wooden boards. But we needed boards that were that were small. We're using a big chopping board to literally like chop up the little peppers that we got in the jars. And it's like, you're getting a big chopping board out for that. So I saw these and it's in a two pack. I'd say it's like a medium sized board, but then it's got a little board in it as well that you could just pull out and just maybe chop a spring onion or just something really small that you're having for yourself so bamboo chopping boards naturally antibacterial and they were for 1.99 so i thought that was a bit of a bargain uh we'll go into the food items <laughs> as she says at the start when it's just like oh i just need a toiletries and cleaning product no i had to pick up some food as well i got these now these look really good and it's a, a beanie's variety pack flavored coffee so they're just little sachets for for one cup you get 12 flavors in there so some of the flavor flavors are double chocolate gingerbread hazelnut vanilla milk chocolate cinnamon hazelnut amaretto cream caramel chocolate orange cookie dough Oh, and then a coconut delight. That's gonna be like the bounty in the bottom of the celebrations tin, isn't it? No one's gonna have that. But all the rest sound really nice. The coconut delight doesn't sound like a delight to me. So I got those. So for 12 of those were 199. I thought that would be a nice little treat. So the next little treat that I got, and I don't think I've ever tried these, and I saw them, I got two of them, one for me, one for Adam. Uh, the uh, the Kit Kat white chocolate chunky bars. That's a little bit Sarah, that is right there. I love a Kit Kat chunky. They had the peanut butter ones as well. I was gonna get that for Adam, but he's tried that one, so I thought we'd try the white chocolate ones. Those were 39p each. Along with some more treats. I'm oh, terrible, I'm so bad. <laughs> I got a couple of chocolate bars because I don't see these kind of chocolate bars in the in supermarkets. So I got Adam the Smarty Sharing Block. Now, I used to have this quite a lot when I was younger and I thought they disappeared. So that bar is 99p. Now, usually in shops, I think I've seen them in co-op maybe and they're about two quid. So that was a, a nice little bargain treat. And then this one, I haven't seen this. It probably is out there, I just haven't seen it. And I thought, this is a bit of me. Is the new Aero chocolate caramel bar. Now, I love an Aero. And I'm kind of thinking this will be like the Whisper Gold. Do you remember those? That was 99p as well. So another little bargain right there. Bit of refreshment. Uh, so what other food items have I got? Now I thought this, I'm back, keep going up and down, I do apologise. <laughs> Um, I thought these were a real bargain because in the shops, anything that's like sun-dried tomatoes or the roasted peppers in jars, anything like that, or the artichokes, anything like that's quite expensive. And I needed some sun-dried tomatoes for a recipe that I'm doing, a pasta recipe. So it's the Bella Rosetta, Bella Rosetta, in sunflower oil and extra virgin olive oil, just the jar of the sun-dried tomatoes and they look really nice, nice big jar. And those were, my goodness, I didn't realize they were only 99p. Now at Tesco's you pay about two quid for a, for a jar of tomatoes or the, the roasted peppers or anything like that. Didn't think they were that cheap, 99p. So again, fitting with the recipe that I'm going to do at the weekend, a pasta recipe, I needed some green pesto. Now again, that could be quite expensive in the supermarket. So it's from the same make, the Bella Rosetta, a green pesto with basil. It's a nice little jar, it will do us. It's not a massive jar. Again, that was really cheap as well. That was 85p. I'm sorry for the crazy lighting. It is terrible outside. It keeps going a bit sunny and then it's tipping it down with rain. So another food item I got. Now, I think I've said this in a previous video. When we went to Edinburgh in January for our 10 year anniversary, absolutely gorgeous. I wish we were vlogging at that time because Edinburgh is just such a beautiful city. And we went for breakfast and it was the first time we had it and it was chicken and waffles with like a maple chili sauce on it with a bit of sour cream and guacamole. Oh, absolute beauty. So I picked up some waffles because we're gonna do that this weekend for a little brunch kind of thing. So I picked up the Belgian waffles. There's five in there, the five sugar pearl waffles. Now they look some bad boy waffles right there. 
proper nice. So I got those for 79p. I just can't believe how cheap everything is. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely tipping it down now. Don't like this weather. I'm attempting a curry this weekend. I'm doing a lamb Rogan Josh and I've never made a curry from scratch. I usually just buy the jars. I'm, I think I'm just scared to do it, but I'm going to attempt it this weekend. And one of the side dishes for it was Papa Dom's and some mango chutney. Now I saw this, it's not exactly mango chutney, but I think we'll be able to use this in a variety of different ways. So it's the Blue Dragon Mango Chili Sauce. So it's kind of like the sweet chili sauce you can get. But I thought, oh, that looks very interesting. And we'll be able to use that in a variety of ways. Mix it with a bit of mayo and make a nice little mango chili mayo. So that was a bargain as well. That was 79p. And again, in supermarkets, you're paying at least £1.50 for stuff like that. Okay, next item. I got a big, massive sweet chili sauce. Now this is a, a hefty pack as well. Uh, it's just the medium sweet chili sauce, perfect for dipping. Now that was a, a bargain as well, as with most of it, because it's home bargain, Sarah. That, for a big 500 gram bottle, was 79p. Next item, it is just the chopped garlic in marinade. I think the marinade is just oil. It's by a person, Chef Kuo. I don't know who he is, but he's given me two thumbs up right there. So it must be good. That was 79p, really handy to just have in your fridge. I really don't like just chopping garlic up. It gets all in your nails and your hands stink for days on end. Okay, so that's pretty much all the food items done. So I think I'm gonna get on to the cleaning section now. Just bog standard and I love this stuff. It's the 1001, the carpet fresh um, mousse. So all you do is just spray it on the carpets after you've hoovered or even before you hoovered, but you don't need to vacuum this one up. So you can do it after you've hoovered. Now this is the fresh linen and white flowers, which I've never had. And it smells really fresh, like, like fresh washing really. I usually get the Thai, is it Thai orchid? And these are quite expensive in the shops. So I haven't replenished this and I am fully out of it and I love doing it because it does make your house smell really nice after you've done your hoovering. So this was 189. So it's not the cheapest I've ever got it at. I think I think at B&M I could get it for about a pound. Correct me if I'm wrong. But you are paying two, two pound fifty in Tesco's for that. So I thought nice big new bottle that will do me for a couple of weeks. Now I go through these like nobody's business. Every day I like to spray for a breeze around the house after I've done my cleaning. Now I've never tried this one, but this one I think Mrs. Hinch has raved about this scent. I think I don't. Know if she's in partnership with it. The Febreze Hermes Lenore Spring Awakening scent. Um, so I've never tried this. So, uh... Oh yeah, that is nice. Oh, nice and fresh. Yeah, so I got that, another big bottle, because I do buy this nearly every week and I do get through it. This was 169. That's that's not too bad a price. Now, I think everyone's on the same bandwagon. I think everyone has a bottle of this in their cupboards. Good old Sephora. Now, this one I have never tried. It is the Twilight Garden. And it's a big old bottle. I needed some more Sephora. I'm completely out. And I've never tried this scent before. Oh, that's nice. That's quite a, um, I wouldn't say manly scent, but it, it has got some kind of twang to it. So I use this, put it down my sink, use it to disinfect everywhere. I also use it as a room spray, but usually I just use it to um, put down my drains to make that all smell nice, but you can use it for anything really. You can put it down your toilets. And they have got a load of flavors in Home Bargains at the moment, but because I hadn't tried this one, I thought I'd try it. So for 250 mils, that was 189. Now we've never had house numbers on our door. We've been here two years, that's really bad. We haven't had any problems with deliveries or anything like that, but I think we need to get some <laughs> after the two years we've been here. The drill that we've got doesn't go through masonry. And of course, in a time like this, we can't go borrowing stuff. So I've just got these cheap house and gate numbers 
because we live at number 69. <laughs> so they just they just stick to your door. So I thought this would be a good temporary fixture. These were 59p each, so oh, you can't grumble at that. So just in the silver metallic. Next interesting item is just some toilet duck discs. <laughs> to put down your bog. The lime flavour, two refills, 12 discs in total. These are really good. I don't like having the cages, you know, how you hook onto your toilet and have the cages. We've got quite a, a fancy toilet. It's like an old Victorian toilet. We've got <laughs> quite a thick rim going into detail about the toilet. So you can't actually hook them on and I don't really like them. So these, you have a, a little mechanism that pushes it and it just sticks to your system and then it just dissolves. And these last a long time as well. So I think that's the most expensive item that I got. That was two forty nine, which again is not that bad for twelve discs. That will last you. I don't think it's. Woo! <laughs> last quite a long time but a couple of weeks before they start disintegrating so really nice to have now this i've never seen before and it could be because i'm just living in the dark ages i really like the look at this i get flash disinfectant quite a lot but this one it's a nice big bottle but it's natural french soap flavored and i thought oh gonna smell really nice now you can't open the bottle to, to see what it smells like so I just I know you're not probably supposed to do this just sprayed some on my hand oh my goodness it is like a really nice posh bar of soap <laughs> it says on the back good old-fashioned French soapy scent to make your granny proud that's a really nice scent for just a cleaning product so for 500 ml that was 199 so I'm excited to try that out. Now that's all the cleaning products that I've got. So I've really stocked up. I've got my anti-back, I've got my Safflora, stuff for my toilet, air freshener, stuff for my carpet. Uh, so that's uh, gonna keep me going for a long time now, which is good, make my house all squeaky clean. Sun's come out now, total change in lighting. So again, I apologize. Right, so we're gonna get into, as I said, beauty and toiletries. Now I'm going to just do the boring stuff that we needed to get anyway. So just some um, 6 in 1 care mouthwash. It's a dupe on the Listerine. This is really good, really spicy. It's like, oh, set your mouth on fire. That was 79p. Can't grumble, can ya? And it's really good. Kills 99.9% .9 of oral bacteria, 6 in 1. So yeah, just bog standard mouthwash. To fit with that, we had to get some toothpaste and I was really surprised by this because Oral-B is quite a, a, a pricey brand. Um, I think it's what the dentists use. This is the Plus Extra White for whiter teeth in Cool Mint. I was surprised at this because this is usually a good three quid in supermarkets. This was 99p. So just toothpaste because you have to have clean teeth. Now this next item I've never seen before. It's a limited edition. I needed some deodorant and this is the Dove Nourishing Secrets Limited Edition Refreshing Summer Ritual with Aloe Vera Rose Water Scent. So just a little bottle of that because I've never seen it. It's a new one out. I haven't actually smelled it. Might be something I don't like. Oh no, that is nice. It smells of holidays. Holidays. Oh. Very nice, very nice and fresh. So Dove, I love Dove, but I only usually get it when it's on offer in supermarkets because it can be quite expensive. So that was 99p. Next item, I've never tried this. I'm usually a, is it a Batiste? Is it Batiste? <laughs> I think it's Batiste. I'm thinking of Batiste as a wrestler now. For a dry hair shampoo, I usually always go to Batiste. Now, they're usually my ride and die, but they can be expensive. But I saw this. It's by TG, which is a hairdresser brand. I kind of just like packaging, to be fair. It's very cool packaging. Uh, it is the Bedhead Rockaholic Living the Dream Dry Hair Shampoo. So yeah, I just needed some dry hair shampoo because at the moment I'm not washing my hair all the time. I don't usually anyway, but I can go now a good week without washing my hair. What's the point? I'm not going out. 
That's quite a nice scent to it. it. Smells like the hairdressers. I thought I'd give this a go. It probably won't live up to the Batiste dryer shampoo or the other ones that I've tried that's not Batista so so. So this was £1.49 for quite a big bottle, 250ml. So I'll give this one a go. Next one, I should have done this with the toothpaste and the mouthwash and I was really surprised by this. I've been struggling so much to get hand sanitizer. Not so much soap now, it did at the start, couldn't get soap for love nor money, but I'm still struggling to get hand sanitizer. But I saw this and I thought, look at the size of that bottle of hand sanitizer. Bloody hell, I've never seen one that size. <laughs> Oh my dear. <laughs> it smells quite nice actually. It's not it's not a major like alcohol smell. Oh actually it's a really nice smell. It's like aloe vera. I was surprised at that. It doesn't say it's got a scent. That's a 250ml bottle. So a good old size. For a size like that, that was 199. And the smell's really nice. Next up, so I got some micellar cleansing water because I'm nearly out. Now this one I have never heard of. It's the Derma V10 range. Again, micellar water can be quite expensive. This is with pro vitamin B5, aloe vera, chamomile, vitamin E, up to 100 uses. Hasn't really got a scent, but yeah, just to start off your skincare routine, wipe over your face to get it nice and clean. So for that bottle was 89p. Can't grumble at that, can you? Right, next up, just some little treaty things really. I'm just trying to treat yourself, <laughs> treat myself with some nice skincare or something that I've never used before. And this is something that I've never used before. It's the um, Revitalizing Coconut Water Deep Moisturizing Foot Pack. Uh, so it's like a little, little face mask for your feet. Now I've seen a lot of people use these. Coming into summer, we're gonna be wearing our flip flops and stuff like that. And my old trotters, I've seen better days. <laughs> it's a 20 minute treatment. You've got little booties in there. So you just wash your feet, take out and fold the boots, wear the boots on your feet, remove after 15 to 20 minutes. I don't think this is the one that makes you, you, your feet peel. I've seen that as well and that just, that turns my stomach. If it is, then we're gonna be in for a fun time because that just, oh, ooh. it uh, reduces callus buildup and helps repair and soften cracked and split heels. I'm really excited to try that because I've never used anything like that before. So that was, that was 89p. So a nice little treat for your feet for under a quid. So I'll try that out. Uh, so next item, I've used this before. I think I got it free with like a Christmas present pack so like a, just a big gift set but they do a range of face masks in home bargains and I picked up the Garnier Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask. Now these are really really good. Put them on for 15 minutes and one mask equals one week of hydrating serum. So you use them weekly. I only bought one of them. That was a bargain as well. That was 89p. 89p which in super drug and stuff like that, you are looking at a couple of quid for the Garnier ones. So reduces the look of fine lines and revives radiance. That is what I need in my life. <laughs> I need some hand cream because of, of course your hands are going through the ringer at the moment with all the washing and your hand sanitizer and stuff. I've got very dry hands and I've got quite long nails as well. So I need to keep them moisturized to stop them breaking. So I picked up some hand cream. Now this is some fancy packaging, really quite posh looking. Moisturizing hand cream with sheer butter and it is coconut flavored. Um, 50 grams, so it's nice size for, for everyday use. Let me just smell it. Oh, oh, the smell of that is lovely. Reminds me of holiday again. Oh, I like being down by the beach, you sun cream on. That's lovely, very moisturizing. So you could get those in all different flavors. There was coconut, there was a coca butter. There was another flavor, I couldn't remember the other flavor, but I wanted the coconut one. 79p. Right, we're on the last little bits now. So what I've got left, some hair stuff, and then I've just got here because I just couldn't resist the packaging. And I needed some as well, I'm running low. This is the Imperial Leather Narwhal Always Love You. And it's got little narwhals on it. <laughs> I'm a sucker for packaging. So it's 
shimmering ice crystals and arctic pearls so it's got a bit of shimmer in there oh <laughs> i got some of my nose oh it smells really nice i just love the packaging and i thought a little bit of shimmer in there that'll be really nice something fun so that was 99p which i thought was very reasonable for imperial leather because they're a good body wash to have right the next items are some hair care stuff now i got being delivered soon from Superdrug. i managed to get hold of some bleach for my hair because i, I can't be living this life anymore <laughs> it was all right having some roots but all my gray hair is coming out now so i'm going to bleach my hair again i bleach my own hair anyway so it's not like i have to wait for a hairdresser but i picked up some blonde shampoo now i've got purple hair shampoo that gets really brassiness but at the moment i think because my hair is quite dry on the ends it's tending to stick to it and as you can see it turns it purple so i needed something that was for blonde hair but wasn't going to tint my hair so i picked up for the shampoo the provoke liquid blonde color infusion shampoo with warming gold pigments enhances color vibrancy and richness in just one wash now i used the purple one of this brand they are really good they're cheap for blonde hair the provoke range is really really good but as i said i usually use the purple one so i haven't used the actual gold one before i don't know if it does distribute any color onto your hair oh no i think it does recommended to use whenever your hair needs a boost of color and up to twice a week so it's not an everyday one so i'm, I'm guessing it just brightens your hair smells nice but it's not going to disperse that purpleness on your hair if you do have dry bits at the ends of your hair when you've bleached it. It's the only problem with the purple shampoo. So I'm gonna give that a go. That was only 99p, so you can't grumble at that for a shampoo. Now the next item I was really surprised at is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Highlight Activating Moisturising Conditioner. It's a big old bottle um it's gonna last me a long time i don't know if it's same with you guys i go through conditioners so much compared to shampoo i have to buy like two conditioners for one thing of shampoo this is a 500 ml bottle now john frieda john frieda for this size you're looking at at least 10 quid if not more so yeah big old bottle 5.99 so under six quid for a big hefty bottle of conditioner last but no means least i picked up a little hair treatment argan oil hair treatment with moroccan argan oil extract so it's just a little um hair treatment i've used this brand before i got it from bnm i think previously i've used the the heat protection spray and i've also used the leave-in conditioner very good products for the price this one is purely a hair treatment so you towel dry your hair and apply two to three drops on the hand and it's a leave-in oil so smells gorgeous smells really nice i'll put it in the ends of my hair because as i say with bleached hair you've got to really look after it because it just ends up breaking off and that was a bargain that was only 99p you can't grumble at that so guys that is my entire home bargains haul now thank you for sitting through this video we have got a lot of stuff here for 43 quid i'm really happy with what i've got i've got a range of things got food beauty things loads of cleaning things and then some miscellaneous items really happy with it i'm hoping to do some more bits and bobs like this but as you can imagine with the current circumstances and being on furlough i can't do these kind of videos every week thank you so much for watching this video please like and subscribe to our channel we do a lot of different things a lot of cooking some hauls some walking i'm going to enjoy these products i'm going to do some cooking this weekend as i've said with some of the food stuffs i've got and i will bring you along for that as well so stay tuned for some more cooking content with me and my husband adam stay safe and i'll see you soon take care